All right, everybody. Today, I'm going to give you the one, two, three on the HPV. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we're talking about HPV. We're talking about the disease that over 80 million people in the USA are infected with. Yeah, well, there goes that song. Anyway, like I said, HPV, or human papillomavirus, it's the most common sexually transmitted disease in all of America. And 11 million people are getting it every single year. Here's the rundown. There are over 100 strains of the HPV virus. And how do you get it? You get it by getting it on. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. HPV is a sexually transmitted disease. And when you have sex, either vaginal sex, oral sex, or anal sex, you get infected. So, once you get it, how in the world do you know you got it? Well, routine HPV testing, it's not recommended because like, once again, if over 80 million people in the US of A have it, we assume everybody got it. Well, HPV testing is part of something that we call cervical cancer screening. That's right, cervical cancer screening. Sorry boys, no cervix, no screening. Anyways, once you get get HPV, unfortunately, you got it for life. But it's not always actively causing havoc and chaos and ruining our lives. It's a little bit like a more common virus that everybody kind of knows about called the chicken pox virus. That's right. Viruses have a very similar expression. Just like the chicken pox virus, you get infected, you get the rash, you get sick, your immune system attacks the virus, and you get all better. Unfortunately, HPV virus, you get the HPV virus and it doesn't give you a rash. You, you don't get sick, so you don't know you got it. And that's how it spreads so easily from person to person. Just like the chicken pox virus never goes away, it just goes to sleep, and when it ever becomes active again, you get this nasty rash called shingles, which is just the chicken pox virus awake again. Well, same thing goes for the nature of HPV. It cycles, and it goes to sleep, and you can be completely without any symptoms. But sometimes the HPV viral strain can give you nasty genital warts or even cervical cancer. Say what? HPV is the leading risk factor for cervical cancer? Now, don't get it wrong. 80 million people will not get cervical cancer. Just like all smokers don't get lung cancer. But most people with lung cancers definitely suck on some cancer sticks. That was Dr. Who, my partner, who delivered the HPV basics. Subscribe to our channel for more detailed videos videos to come. New videos are released every Monday. Don't forget, if you want to be in our inner circle, subscribe to our newsletter. I'm Dr. Ha, and we're out.